In this video, I'm gonna show you how to test the flame sensor in your furnace. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. Let's go change and get this done. Come on. When your furnace comes on, there's a lot of sensors and switches just to confirm that the furnace is working safely. As part of the maintenance for your furnace, one thing that you want to test for proper function is the flame sensor. If you have a meter that can test microamps, I'm going to show you how you can do this yourself. We're going to be taking the doors off the furnace and exposing where the flame sensor is. And we're going to be doing this while the power is on because we need the furnace to ignite in order to get a proper reading on the flame sensor. So if that makes you nervous or you're uncomfortable doing this, don't. If you get your furnace serviced once a year, they should test the flame sensor as part of that service. The first thing you want to do is remove the door to the furnace that exposes where the burner assembly is. When it's time to ignite the gas, the igniter glows, the gas valve opens, and then there's fire. And the flame sensor is just looking for proof of the flame. The igniter and the flame sensor are both going to be in the path of where the flames are coming out, usually on opposite ends of the burner assembly. You do not want to mix these two up. The flame sensor usually has one wire attached to it and the igniter usually has two. Once you've identified which one is the flame sensor, you're gonna disconnect the wire attached to it. Take your meter and connect one of the probes coming off the meter to the wire that you just disconnected. You're gonna stick the probe between the insulation and the back of the clip so you don't loosen the connection when you reconnect the wire. Put the other lead on the end of the flame sensor where the wire was just connected. You may need to hold it in place if you don't have an alligator clip on the end of your probe. Next, we're gonna adjust the thermostat so that the furnace kicks on. Now you can have somebody else do this for you or my thermostat I can control from my phone, so I'm gonna do it here. Then set your meter to measure microamps. As soon as the flame is established, you should see a microamp reading on your meter. My manual actually says I'm looking for between one and four microamps. Check your furnace's owner's manual just to verify that that's the reading that your flame sensor should be in. The key is you don't want it to read too low. My flame sensor seems to be spot on, so I feel totally comfortable moving on and doing nothing else to it. But if it were out of range, I would want to clean it and then test it again to see if that fixed the problem. As a matter of fact, in next week's video, I'm going to be showing you how to clean your flame sensor. So stay tuned for that one. Reconnect the wire back to the end of the flame sensor and put the doors back on. Part of maintenance is identifying potential issues before they become a problem. And if your flame sensor was showing signs of fatigue, you'd want to know that before a freezing cold night in the middle of the winter. And don't worry, we'll also be making a video showing you how to replace a flame sensor just in case you need to do that. I hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. Until next time, good luck with your next project. And remember, if you ever feel like you've gotten in over your head, stop and call a technician you trust for some help. Thanks so much for watching. Good luck. See ya. Hey, if you like listening to podcasts and you like learning about how the technical systems in your home work, consider checking out our podcast in the house. We release new episodes every Tuesday, wherever you listen to podcasts. We also upload the videos here on YouTube. So if you'd like, you can check those out as well. But I bring in plumbers, electricians, HVAC technicians, and we pick one topic like water heaters and me and the plumbers discuss it. That's really meant to be informative and it's meant for you guys to enjoy and listen to. Anyway, check it out.